energy supplier Rentec Incorporated announcing the opening of a synthetic diesel and jet fuel plant over in Colorado. Well, the plant is the only operating one of a kind in the U.S. right now. We welcome Rentec CEO Hunt Ramsbottom to Happy Hour. And don't laugh, it's his real name. Everybody's already made fun of you for that. For so. two days now, oh, they're making fun of For two days. Right. All right, so you're making waves uh, with this. Why uh, explain us to us uh, the, the theory behind this? Yeah, so our, our technology is unique. And, and I'll be so bold to say I think it's the best fuels in the marketplace. And here's why. We can, uh, we can turn any hydrocarbon, which is garbage, coal, natural gas, uh, biomass, into clean, burning transportation fuels, non-food-based stuff. And we've got a sample here. Oh, this is it, Very, huh? very clear, very uh, beautiful. I think that's the diesel, and there's the jet, and it looks the same. So that's what I was going to ask for, you know, I mean, oil is... Uh you're, it's Eric's forte, but me being the novice here. So yep. you're turning this stuff that it's going to go in cars and it's going to run uh, airplanes where yep. they don't have to make massive modifications. Zero. That's the beauty of the fuels. Zero modifications to the jet engines. Zero modifications to the diesel engines or transportation. And no modification to the pipelines in America. So I asked you this earlier. Talk yep. to us a little bit about you know how are we going to get enough of this? It's very, very difficult to refine enough to be uh, usable. How many barrels are you refining now and how are we going to get more? Yeah, well the first plant in Colorado is really just a test to give to our customers. The military has stated by 2016 they want half their fleet on these fuels. So the question is how do we get there? And we've got our first plant in Mississippi which will be 30,000 barrels. And that'll Wait, be is, I'm sorry to interrupt. The whole yeah. military wants to get to half of their... The Air fuels. Force. The Air the Force. Air Force. Okay. Yeah. The Air okay. Force, which is the largest buyer of fuel in the country. We, we've had some of the generals from the Air Force on this show talking about that yeah. because they have that program yep. that's really trying to do a concerted effort to buy more synthetic fuels. Right. I mean, but if it's so great, Hunt, why hasn't it been done a long time ago? You know, I think uh, it's crude oil, for one, has been at $12 and $15 and $20. And our break even on this is about $60, $65. So we can do it today for about half the cost of crude. So I think it's been. You know, crude oil, I think, has been the will of people. I think today people are just starting to feel $4 gas, and so I think it just needs momentum. So tell us what the input is. If it's not crude oil, what, what are you putting in to make uh, synthetic jet fuel and okay. synthetic diesel? So this was made from natural gas, okay? So this is natural gas to diesel and uh, jet fuel. We'll be doing runs at that plant uh, for, uh, from uh, garbage to uh, fuel, and we'll be using petroleum coke at the Mississippi plant, which is a waste stream from refineries, which just gets exposed and burned in the air. So if this is so great and everything, I was looking at some of the research about your company, you know, it, it seems like a lot of uh, people who were invested in your company are, are selling a lot of their shares. Is, is some indication, something, they maybe don't have confidence in this synthetic fuel? You know, I, the issue is time. It's going to take a long time to get to marketplace. And today, we got to marketplace with it. So our stock went up a lot in the last two days. And I think it's for the long-term investor. It's, this is not something that, you know, it's a technology. You make a PowerPoint and you go to market with. We had to build a $100 million plant the last uh, couple of years just to produce these. And the next plant's going to be uh, probably a billion dollars. And, and the big issue, I think, a lot of things that people talk about when they talk about Rentech is that the government is, is actually subsidizing some of the technology. Is that right? Not with ours, no. We've, this is all on our own capital. They're giving so away a lot of money. Why aren't yeah, you guys well, taking any? Well, we, we're not food-based. Maybe that's the problem. But uh, they have not yet. Uh, so where does the financing come from? So we do get 50 cents a gallon right now. That's the field. ethanol, similar to the ethanol similar, mandate. Similar, right. So what we're looking for is contracts from the, the Air Force, which they're working on. So if we can get a 10-year or 15-year contract from the Air Force, then we can go uh, build So plant. what happens, though, Hunt, when the price of oil, or if the price of oil goes back down to levels where people aren't investing so much in a company like yours that has a more long-term uh, range? Yeah, I don't, I don't believe, I think it's going to cycle up and down. But again, if you've got 85 million barrels of supply, I just don't think that's going to change dramatically. And, so. and if you have the Air Force signing on for 15 years, it's should be in pretty good shape. Well, yeah, and, and, and who wouldn't want these clean burning fuels uh, from our resources? It's our technology. So if it dips down to $100 or $90, it's still economic. So at the end of the day, you know, it's very positive for us. So clean burning, it's good for the environment. Or it's yeah. better for the environment. Much better for the environment. <laughs> yeah. Not good, but just yeah. better. You could drink it, but I wouldn't. That's horrible. Not that horrible <laughs> right. for the environment. Yeah, but I, if you think about just the city, all the garbage that's lined up here. 
we could we could we could take this garbage and make jet fuel out of That's it. That's true because right? it, it all goes in landfills, it goes even in landfills, plastic. We can take plastic. Wow. Yeah, and okay. make that. So if you think about that, it's good for the environment, cleans up the environment. We can make jet fuel for JFK and LaGuardia right out here. Hot so. Rams Bottom, the CEO of Rentec. Thanks so much for being with us for Happy Thank you Hour. Very much. And we've got